It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's your, it's your boy, ECEO, man. What's going on, man? <laughs> Go ahead, man. And I'm hey, money, boy, money Moses, by the way. We great cuts every damn day. I guess I came like that because, you know, them slot machines been good to me. I'm out here in Las Vegas, man. Yeah, yeah man. I, I went down there a while ago when we rejuvenated ourselves. You know, we gambled together. So me and Miss Jamaica, we kind of tried to. We, we trying to take it all the way back to Texas, man. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. Do it. Oh, man. Hey, man, we got my boy, man, Sage. Thomas, aka Donk Master, in the building. What's going on? What's going on? Man, it's good to have you, man. For sure. I appreciate being here. Man, you know me. I be cutting up, man. This is where I first met you at, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I tried to run you off. Oh, yeah. that nigga tried to get rid of me. At least three man. times. <laughs> he tried to run you out three times. Yeah, and yeah. I told my and wife. You had to go over there by yourself. Yeah, yeah I went back there. Yeah, he told me, I'm finna go get this, man. Let me go get it. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about it, man, I know already when we come, man. She the nice one. I'm the crazy one. Yeah. So I, you know, it, it take both the yin and the yang. He was he wasn't even saying nothing. Wow. He just be like, let them get to the business, yeah. man. You been busy, man. I've been really watching and really yeah. like checking you out ever since we locked in with you. Oh yeah, for the, sure. A cool thing was already a relationship we had ever since '08. Mm -hmm. But then when you got with them. You know me, I'm nose as hell. So yeah, I'm like, man, what the hell going on with this whole movement? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I've been liking what I've been seeing, man. Real talk. I, I seen you got you was in like a big trailer or something. Yeah, I got so we got a fifty two foot enclosed trailer that yeah, we take in. the race cars with all over the country with. So you know, cool one of the partners with the collab, they actually wrapped the trailer in something they designed in house. Really? So yeah, we got the cars on there, got a picture of me on there smiling cheese. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then we got all the all the other stuff on there, all my scenes and stuff like that on it. So that's like a moving billboard for, for what we're doing. Man, I, I seen the tires come off. I seen you on YouTube. Oh, you check it on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> you, so you watch my, my dumb ass yeah, TV. I watch man. you, man. Yeah, so on Dumb Ass TV we document a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. So you know we have one that shoots that and then also uh G Dog eight oh three shoots the racing in the movie like a movie type thing yeah so yeah behind the scenes a lot of people like to see the behind the scenes but they like to see the races too so we try to give them insight on what we're doing every day man you know i just think that you guys the way you guys are doing it i have never seen this done before like this mm -hmm. I'm being real. You see people who race, like, but you don't see people who take it to the level that you guys are taking it to. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's the part right there that really caught me by surprise. Like, okay, okay you see niggas that just go to the track, uh -huh. but you guys are doing something totally different. Y'all really... Even when you look back at when they used to do those car hookup shows and stuff, yeah, it's still different. It feel like it's for me. I'm it being is, real. It, it, it's for our culture, and that's that's yeah. what it's about. You know what I mean? It's, it's ours. So yeah. that's so like that's why we came up with the NDRA. It's the National Dunk Racing Association, and when we do events, it's an experience. Yeah. So like my, like my lady always say, "Baby girl, Florida." She like to say it's an experience. You want you don't you want to go somewhere and don't forget it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It don't matter if you spent ten dollars, twenty dollars, whatever the case may be to get into these events. You're gonna experience it. You're not gonna forget it, and that's what we like to do. Man, I just love the way that, that like I said, I see the cars to the finishing touches. Man, I seen somewhere y'all was giving a car away. Oh yeah, right, right now we're doing a big car giveaway with uh, Carlos Miller, eighty five South, wilding out. So me and him partnered up to give away a car. So we we uh, doing raffle tickets. You can go to Don't Master TV or you go to my website. I can get one. Anybody can get Nigga, one. Nigga, I'm trying What's to win that car. That car bad to the one yeah. I was in. Yeah, the candy blue with the Man, big block. The I'm like, hell yeah. Stuff. If I can win yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's you the website you can go get it from? Yeah, the, the website is in and .com. So if you go to in and .com, you'll see a big on there. The giveaway is going to be over September the 10th. For Fast and Flash, our eighth annual event, the original Big Wheel show that started all the Big Wheel racing all over the United States. So you can get that car. It's full of music, candy paint, uh, custom interior by Stitch by Slick, one of the best interior men in yeah. the United States. You mentioned him last time you Oh, yeah, show. for sure. That's my dog. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So he do what he do. He got, we got the motor, the drive train, and what we did. And it's sitting on a set of uh, Ruchi wheels. Man, I seen you guys, man. You guys been moving and being productive, man. Mm -hmm. I seen you guys. I seen you at, I, I seen you went to the Rick Ross uh, car show. Oh, yeah, yeah. We went down there. Y'all always just busy, man. Like I said, y'all don't stop, man. And then nah. y'all, every city, city, state to state, city, I've been yeah, there. Yeah. You, you really rocking it yeah, like you that. You got to say it right. City to city, <laughs> state, state to state. state. That boy's serious. That was his turf, too. 
Oh yeah, that's what yeah. you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? So like, if you said the Rick Ross stuff, we actually unveiled my lady bike who has a 34 inch wheel. Yeah, and she's the only woman who rides a 34 inch wheel Harley Bagger. So we actually <laughs> unveiled it at that show. We got a lot of press, a lot of you know, people yeah. really like it. So we do stuff everywhere. We do something different. Try to leave our mark everywhere we go. Yeah, it's just dope to see how you roll, man. Like I said, I'd never seen it before. Mm -hmm. I seen niggas pull old trucks to the. Race track. No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. you guys do it in style. Yeah, when yeah, I got out there that day after I'd interviewed you, yeah, yeah. and I seen how y'all was doing it, oh uh -huh. man, me and my lady, she got to go to her first race out she, there. She, she get to it. see. Uh -huh. Yeah, she seen you, you know what I'm saying? You got the cars shooting all type of stuff out the side <laughs> of it. You niggas is out there real fly, you <laughs> yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, you ain't forget it though. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, hell no. Was, it was an experience, you know what I'm saying? So what do you remember from that though? Man, I just, I, really to be honest with you, when I see you, I, I see you at like, Dealing with the merch and dealing with the people and they showing you so much love. Oh, yeah, That's sure. the part that really touched me. Yeah. But then at the end of the day, when I see y'all trash talking to a little bit, yeah. that there, that get my, get me going too. <laughs> but like I said, really just your whole presence and the way and the way you come and the way different city to city, state to state, yeah. they embracing you. Oh yeah. It just showed that the, it's a big big gap that was needed to be filled and mm -hmm. you filled it the right way. You oh, know yeah, what I'm I saying? That, yeah. yeah, and that's what we need, bro. Our people need any type of any type of anything to motivate us, mm -hmm. man. Anything to show that we can do something, man, yep. that's what I'm about. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. What you think about it, Money Mo? That's the best thing for it. Like, if you can motivate anybody around you, you did something. Yeah, yeah. that's like, what you're trying to do. That's what we wake up for. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Man, so, and, and you one of them guys. Hold on. I thought I got a problem with that, too, this whole week. What happened? Like I've been trying to help people out. They've been giving me an attitude like I'm tripping or something. Well, that's oh. just the devil trying to take you out. Nah, brother. they take a deal out, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a blessing, not a curse. Man, yeah. how's the show being, man? You've been up here now. This is oh, your yeah. second show, right? Yeah, yeah so, so we, cool. Yeah, so we came in February to launch the summer collection, and that did good. You know what I'm saying? We got in about 800 stores right off the rip. The big store, City Gear, Hibbets, DTLR. Uh, Dillard's, you know what I mean? A lot of those big box stores online, Dr. J, so it's doing pretty good. So now we're back in August to launch the Holiday Collection 1. So we got two different collections in the holiday. So now we're doing the jeans, the, sh the jackets, the sweatsuits, you know what I'm saying? All that because it's so good in the summertime. They said, man, let, let's give him another trend. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> let's see if he can go a little bit further. You know what I'm saying? So we did all that, put it together, and we back out here doing what we do. Man, respect, man. Respect oh, yeah. and love for what you guys are doing, man. And them guys, man, Ralph and all them guys, man. Oh, yeah. I seen them pull a lot of moves, but this one of the major moves yeah. that I seen them pull. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? They try to do different things with all type of stuff, man. I could go on and on about the things they've tried, yep. but this right here really fits the culture. Oh, yeah. I love the, the outfits you be sporting like the last time you was on yeah, the show, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you you really rolling it out, man. You're, uh -huh. you're a big fella, you know what I'm saying? You so you modeling this stuff. I gotta be you know fresh. what I'm saying? These niggas don't know what modeling. You come <laughs> through. You know what I'm saying? I gotta do it. You know what I mean? Shout out to Ralph, Jason, Daryl, you know what I mean? Everybody on the crew team, Jerry. Yeah, they Jerry, they're my yeah. boy. Oh yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? They putting in work, so we I want to show them and give it to them back in return. Turn, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, this is not a sponsorship. This is a partnership and a collaboration. So we working together to make it bigger. You know? No yeah. Shout what. out to my little Ken folks too. He love you, man. Oh yeah, Ken. Little, hey, oh man, this but nah, my little the, oh, the yeah, little dude. Little, yeah, on the yeah, phone. yeah, yeah. He yeah. just called a while ago. Yeah. He called as soon as he see me say something about you on live. <laughs> he yeah. hit me up. I said, Yeah, man. We for, she said Dunk Master in the background. Uh -huh. I, I know this little dude is looking yeah. because I got a call just like that dinner. <laughs> oh yeah, he on it. He on it. He on it. <laughs> so man, how do you feel when like the younger kids like that you know pretty much love what you're doing and, and, and they latch on to you like that what does that do for you I, I love it you know what I'm saying because I got five kids myself so yeah, I gotta yeah, yeah. be a good example for them and then by when I'm doing stuff like that I remember when I used to look up to my heroes or people yeah. that I motivated me you know what I'm saying I would always want to see Michael Jordan uh, the basketball players and stuff like that so just for being able to talk to them that that's is a big deal you know what I'm saying that's a really yeah. big deal yeah. no I just I really know that um Coming up, I used to have heroes, but really mm -hmm. most of them was, you know, like basketball players and yep. stuff. When you looked at races, you didn't really see a lot of our culture mm -hmm. in these races, you know what I'm saying? And yep. doing these things, it, they would kind of, you know, keep us out of it. Oh, yeah. You might see my daddy go down and up the street mm -hmm. running, and, and if the laws catch him, hell, he going to jail. <laughs> yeah, but I'm yeah. just saying, like, just the real, the NASCAR feel and the, and, and the ones that was really out there doing it, it mm -hmm. was people that didn't look like us. Yep, yep. So, so and I know you've seen that coming oh, yeah, up. You know sure. what I'm that, saying? That's definitely for sure. So, like, in the race world, yeah, it's not too many African-Americans doing it, especially on this level. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to set a standard and the tone of what it should be and how you should move. So that's a lot of things that we like to do because people 
in the beginning they thought it was they couldn't do it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They thought it was unheard of. Like how can you take five cars and put them take them to California and sell out a racetrack with seventeen thousand people? That was something they never heard of because nobody never done it before. And yeah, so yeah. After, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So after we started doing this seven, eight years ago, now we see all these different people trying to take cars all over the country. You know what I'm saying? So like matter of fact, just like uh what's the Lynn from Turkey Lake? Yeah, yeah. He put the forty something cars and took him to Rick Ross. Yeah, he did. Ain't nobody never did none of that stuff before. No, no, you know no. what I'm saying? So that's all this stuff is, is coming from someplace. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel that if we come with this 18 wheeler traveling city, city, state to state, they had to see it on YouTube. We got hundreds of millions of views of yeah. people doing this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So that's what it just I just see it as people are setting the trends, you know what I mean, setting trends and setting the standard for now, what it is. Today. I seen a, out at the show, I seen a, it was a cut list out there. Mm -hmm. Um, tell me a little bit about that car and and, and, and kind of how how you end up with the cut dog the on, on the on the oh, show. Yeah. Yeah, the, the not the black one, the purple. Oh, the purple yeah. oh yeah, the purple one. So the, the purple color is actually my partner from uh, Vegas, Las Vegas. Okay, uh, Double O, and that's his wife's car. Okay, so his wife got the car. They did it probably six seven years ago here in Vegas. So he has a different a bunch of cars. So he got probably seven eight old schools that that we do. He do. You know what I'm saying? We have it because we go we open up a shop here. On the west, and in and out custom west here in a little while. Wow. So, this is just one of the cars that they have in their stable and uh, with the candy paint and everything on it. Yeah. And so, I, how did y'all link up? How did you even learn to know so, about them? Okay. So, I, I met them at the racetrack in Sacramento about 2017. So, we seen them back and forth on social media when they come to Atlanta, the Stunt yeah. Fest. Uh, MJ, the Stunt Man, who do Stunt Fest, shout out to MJ. Well, he been doing that for years. So, Double O would always travel across country to go to that show. So when we did a show in Sacramento for the first time in 2017, he brought the, the uh, green blower car and he went, raced at one of the other cars that we had. Okay. And after that, we just started talking to politics and figuring some stuff out and, and we came to this. Wow. Hey, I'm gonna be real with you, man. Uh, got me an old car. Yeah. Uh, not not the one I showed you the Chevelle. I'm not playing with that yeah, one. That's yeah, yeah. 20 years old. My dad and me rode in it. Okay. He died and he didn't want me to do nothing to it. Mm -hmm. But this new one I got, I'm finna, oh, I'm finna come I told Carlos the other day When you put me on the phone With yeah. a nigga It's time <laughs> <laughs> so, so what you got The GTO right? so The GTO So yeah. we gonna do yeah. you, you know all the metal work All that stuff All that gotta be done You seen it It's a real Yeah but you, you know Carlos got horsepower In his car You gotta help me You yeah. the creator <laughs> I, I just let you know That's all I'm saying You gotta help me You gotta help yeah. me Carlos ain't cutting no corner I can't now. really just talk You know yeah. that talk If I can't walk okay. that walk I just making sure you know But that man. walk is very heavy yeah, when You, you gotta yeah. have Everything right. Yeah, your money can't jiggle, jiggle. It got the fold. <laughs> it, it got the fold. It can't jiggle, jiggle. Though. How much, huh? man? Do, and I'm not talking about Carlos all, yeah. just all together, but just to go all the way in and make something re, re, to your taste, stand okay. because you don't cut no cones. No, 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 no. How do you get to that point, man? On these cars, like, and what dollar amount? No, don't scare me now. I ain't gonna hey, scare listen, you. man. Keep yeah, your blood pressure medicine. You get your blood I'm pressure. Comfortable. Yeah, I'm comfortable. I brace the table. Yeah, you better make you sure. <laughs> Yeah, so it depends on what you want. If you want a cruiser, you know what I'm saying, something nice, drop the top. It got to be convertible now. I mean, yeah. it ain't that, if you got a hard top, yeah. you can have anywhere from sixty to 100000 and something that's a nice cruiser. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. If you want these race cars and all this other stuff, you can have about a quarter million in the car over and over and over again. Like, it ain't going to stop. It ain't no one quarter million. <laughs> You can do it a couple times. Man, you know what I'm saying? And, boy, and that's just what it is. Say, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to put something on it. Yeah, yeah. You got to put something on it yeah, when you're yeah. doing it. But you, you can't bring it by loaf. You, run up, you can't run up on me like this and no. nigga, everything lost. My, my old lady going to leave, man. <laughs> 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 Say, like that. So, but, but that's the good thing about it, though, to see it like in the condition mine is in, yeah. the one I just got, mm -hmm. and then take that thing to the whole next level. Like, yeah. when you see it from the beginning to the end, you're proud of what you just done. Oh, man. yeah, yeah. But but see, you you've parted with some price with some price pieces in over the years. Oh yeah. Is it any that sticks out to you that you got rid of? Did you like, man? You know what? Man, I missed that old car. I, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the cars I do keep. Some of my old, like I still got my very first car from from '97. I still got it. You know what I'm saying? But I, I like a lot of dunks and stuff that I built over the years. I sold them to the pro athletes, movie stars, stuff like that. But I can just build them again. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I liked it. I had fun with it. Served this purpose. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna build a new one. I always like to top myself. So like once I build one, if it do good or whatever the case may be, I want to build another one better than that one. Give me that uh, that graveyard uh, uh, incident where you found one. I seen you pull one out. I ain't know yeah. what that was, man. <laughs> out the woods. <laughs> out the woods. How do you? What's the? 
one that you found that you like, dang, man, this is in here. I, I didn't never think it would have been in here. Mm -hmm. Was it that one? Yeah, so any of the don'ts. So, like, so what you see me is actually my junkyard. Okay. So, like, me and my partner own some property in South Carolina, and we, he had cars there over the years. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I was building cars for 20 years. So I might have cars I don't forget about. I ain't yeah. telling a lie. It might be a tree growing to me <laughs> right now. We we might go in and cut tree down, go pull it. You know what I'm saying? Pull a car, get the parts off of what we would need for this new project. But there's some cars out there. Yeah, like we got a a 1958 Apache truck out there. That I'm, I'm gonna pull that one out and redo that. It's still in pretty good shape. So that's that's one of the trucks that I forgot about. And wow, yeah, it real good. Yeah. How, what are you gonna do to that one? We probably gonna end up doing something with a LS Corvette motor, twin turbos, something make about fifteen hundred horsepower, six B transmission, driving on the weekends with a little bit of AC. Have anybody ever just stopped you and say, "Man, I'm for the, I need that car," and you like, "Nah, I ain't trying to sell it," uh -huh. and then they like, you, "You the right price." Oh, and they come with it, and they come with the bag. And, and what I do? Look at my phone. Wire transfer complete. Here's your car and your title. <laughs> That's what I did. That's the best way to go with that's it. That's it. That's how it goes. I did that a couple times. Last time we talked about the, the, I was telling you about the white guys, man, that I know they, you know, once they see you doing this yeah. this whole thing, you were like, I'm the dunk master. Yeah. You know, I mean, these incidents are going to continue to happen where people, they see what you're doing mm -hmm. and, and, and it, you're a trendsetter. Yeah, so yeah. people going to come behind you and try to figure it out yeah. and try to steal it. You know, mm -hmm. but it's hard because of the way you be carrying on on this YouTube. Oh no, it ain't carrying on on this track. They they always try to replicate what I create. You know what I'm saying? I, I like but that. The, but he I rhyming now. This yeah. Jesse, no, he got Jesse the right Jackson name for it. I'm about to. He got I the right name. I'm like, yeah, but that's like I said the last time. Come on, he, you know what I'm saying? But whenever they do that, you know what I mean. We got a different approach. We go call them on the phone if we got their direct connect. If not, we'll send an email. You know what I'm saying? If they don't answer, we might go to their shop and say. How y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? It is, it's very simple. We're not hard to get along with. You know what I'm saying? We want to feed our family just like they do. So Man. if they, got, they want to do something, you know what I'm saying? They can hit us up. It's, we're not hard to find. So you, because it would be, it's offensive to have people to come up and try to really replicate what you've worked so hard to try oh, to, yeah. and then recondition it in a way. Because see, most of the time, that's copyright infringement. Oh, they yeah. start using big words when yeah, you do yeah. stuff like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, or, or you trying to, change something and benefit off of it without paying dues when yes. you know already like on franchise you 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 can get in trouble for stuff yes. when you start doing stuff yeah. you, I'm McDonald I'm McDowell that is not gonna nah, work that's not how it goes you know yeah, you <laughs> he know got the sesame seed this one don't have seeds nah. on the gun <laughs> <laughs> And that's what they be trying to do a lot of times. But it's like in the street, we say pay homage. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Correct. So they don't want to pay homage or just respect. They disrespected me. Yeah. So that's what it feel like. So whenever somebody coming with a donk or anything, they racing on big wheels, y'all ain't started that. Y'all know who started this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And they, they know because we got hundreds of millions of views on YouTube. We on TV with millions of views. Y'all know who I am. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They know how to get in contact with me. A lot of these people have my phone number. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, don't just disrespect me and take it like it's yours. And then try to change it around, you know what I'm saying? And then once you get to a level, you want me to hold you in the air so you can piss on me? Ah. That don't work like that. No, with me. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, you want to eat, make some money, let me eat and make some money too. You know what no, I'm saying? I agree 100%. That's all it is. And I think it got to be respect, man. That's, that's one thing. Shout out to Jay Prince. That's one of the, the book he got called Respect. Oh, you, you know, have it. A lot of times people don't, they, they, they don't understand that word. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in the game where it's our people and our culture, man, yeah. we got to make people believe and understand. You're oh, not yeah. going to take nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nah, these ideas ain't coming out of thin air, bro. No. Nah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, some of the stuff we take, you know what I'm saying? Just like me, I shout out Florida all the time, right? Yeah, you do. I, I would go in there when I was young. You know what I'm saying? My, my father, when I used to go to his house, yeah. he stayed in Liberty City. I know Pat Swall, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been around the Haitians. I done seen these Chevys and cars, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? When I seen it, all I did was take it to another level. Yeah. That's it. You know what I'm saying? They riding up and down the street. I took what was on the street, organized it, put it in a racetrack, and that's what I did. You know what I'm wow. saying? With the team I got. Yeah. And that's all I did. But every time, shout out to Murph Dog, RRP, you know what I mean to him, whoever else, all it is, I, that's what I do. So I make sure. When you went down like to Rick Ross's and, and all these different people were down there, and mm -hmm. a lot of them were saying this and saying that or doing this, because it wasn't no race or nothing. Nah, nah that was a big car show. It was, it was just a car yeah, show. Yeah, networking and stuff like networking that. Networking and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I hate I missed it, because I really want to come down there and really be nosy as hell. Oh, yeah, yeah, You know, because yeah. I'm a nosy nigga. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. I come down like, what's going on with this? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and my partner called me. He was like, E, 
what the hell was we thinking? Why we wasn't down oh, there? Nah, was a good I event. was like, man, I don't know. I just was sleeping on. I've been so busy. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, man, but my boy down there. I said, my boy Sage down there. Yeah. I, that's the only one I really seen that I really rock with. You yeah. made me really look at it. To be honest oh, with yeah, you, yeah. I heard Rick Ross talking, but I ain't know Rick Ross for really being in these streets with the car. But mm -hmm. he got the dope look. Yeah, 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 the nigga yeah. got the look down. Oh, there. No, he's, he's a like, he got all of these olds around there, and then yeah. he then he got all his rap stuff going. So I really oh, yeah. can't when it, when I see the cars, it's blurred by all the money around it. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's definitely that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Fifty Seven Freddie Rick Ross for putting together a video. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They did put something together. Yeah, we had insight on that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't tell a lot of people that they talked to me about that. So they talked like, to you before it even. Yeah, you really? know what I'm saying? Yeah, we talked about it. So I don't have no bland thing about it. You know what I'm saying? We did have talks about it and what to do and how to do it, and we, and we did that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So we did what we had to do with it, and that's what we did. Was, you know? But but when you look at it like. Um, um, a big event like that, man. Is this the first one uh, that they've done where they just held it in a place like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the first one of uh, 57 Freddy and them. Uh, that they, they've done. Yeah, as they actually hosted their own car show. See, we, what, we've, been, we've been hosting car shows for over 20 long years. Long time. Yeah, and then we've been going to places like California, 17,000, Texas, 15,000, New York, you know what I'm saying? Florida, Georgia, everywhere all over the whole United States. But you know when, when they hit y'all up uh, and, and you guys come together like that and you guys come support, what is the what is the purpose? What is the thing that you guys would like to see come I, out of stuff like that? I want you know what I mean stuff like that is what we see is growth. Okay. You know what I'm saying? As far as growth and not and giving people the right knowledge. So we don't want people getting on TV misrepresenting the cause. Correct. We don't want them saying this a dunk and that's it's, it's a damn Ch Ch Chevelle. Watch your a, mouth. Yeah. Watch your damn mouth. <laughs> yeah. <You know>? <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, we want to make sure the education is there with it. Yeah. And no, we want to make sure people understand it, what it's for, why we doing it, because like you say, people will see it yeah. and they want to just grab it. Yeah. Like just, you can't just grab this now. This is a porcupine. Now yeah. you run a bone, it's gonna stick you. you it's know gonna what stick you. So you need to make sure you, they got it the right way. They, they're giving the right story. That's you, what I like. You get, like I said, you got a lot of guys out there. Like I said, shout out to all those boys that do it. I see I see a lot of guys that's repping these old cars, oh, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, me and my wife, we went down by the Turkey Leg Hut. We mm -hmm. done been to a lot of these different places. Oh, yeah. And, you know, you see the cars lined out out there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like I said, that was... I had seen yours, and I thought about you when I was down there. Really, to be oh, honest yeah. with you, because oh, yeah. I, I, like I said, it wasn't like yours. Though for me, the rims and the interior, mm -hmm. I think you guys, you take it a little bit further than yeah. I see other people take it. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Just to have an old car, I got an old car, mm -hmm. but when I look at your car, it's a different feel mm -hmm. than what I see in others' car. I just say like that. In my car, like my car and your car, different. Yeah. I'm all factory. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I'm not uh, doing the LS thing, yeah. but. Like I said, I'm coming for y'all. You niggas gonna I get hear, it. I hear you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make y'all feel me. I'm listening to yeah. you. <laughs> you got to show take me. some money, though. Yo, it's gonna take a lot. Like I tell you, you got the fool, or it got to be a wide train. <laughs> Who's gonna, gonna drive, drive it? it? Yeah. Who gonna? I'm not, exactly. No, exactly. I'm not driving. You ain't gonna drive. I see you. Like you don't call for no reason. Yeah. Man, I ain't crazy now. You ain't gonna drive. I'm crazy, it? but I ain't crazy, crazy. You, you went yeah, drive. I ain't doing that yet. I thought you was a real stomp down. I'm not telling you. I'm not doing it. I am. Man, my I ain't driving. I drove. My uncle put me in the car with. I'll never forget it. Yeah. I, I had tears coming down my eyes. Bro. The nigga was driving like a damn madman. It was a race car. Yeah. I said, man, I can't deal with this, bro. Mm -hmm. I couldn't. I, I want it out. Yeah, Have like, you ever made somebody want to get out? Oh, yeah, I do it all the time. <laughs> that's why I get one seat in my car now. I don't need nobody else in there no more. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what I like to do. So, like, just like my cars, a lot of cars we do be 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 horsepower. Just like all these cars. A lot of the boys, like you say, Turkey Lake Hood, Lynn, shout out to Lynn, Turkey Hood. Yeah, isn't it Lynn? Lynn? Yeah, Lynn. Yeah, they don't, they don't have the race car motors as of yet. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They're watching and talking right now. They're watching and seeing what's going on. You yeah, know what they're saying? trying to figure it out. Yeah, they're trying to figure it out, but it takes a lot of knowledge and, and a lot of connections and resources. It takes more than money to do what we doing. You know what yeah, I'm mean? saying? Yeah. Yeah, just like we sitting up here 30 floors up right now talking to the microphone. Hey. This ain't cost no money, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's connections and resources. That's you know right. what I'm saying? And that's what it's about. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And, and then like I said, I, I see guys, like I said, that's the part that really kind of, I don't, you gotta, it's a way that you do it. That's mm -hmm. all I'm saying. When you guys have been doing it, and you guys have made it look a certain way, yeah. and you want to step into that realm, but you mm -hmm. don't have the respect for the people that's already doing it yeah. that look like us. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not good. No, 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 no. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, Anybody that does that. So I, I, that's the part where I would be furious if yeah. it was me. You like, Boss Talk 101, you know, I'd heard niggas say, I'm gonna do Rap Talk 101, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they do that. These niggas they be tripping. That. One nigga like, we gonna do, uh, 
they are, they'll put the 101 on. They're trying yeah. to replicate. Oh, yeah. But they don't want to even like, and then one of my guys that was with me last time I was in Vegas, yeah. uh, shout out Watts, I, it was somebody trying to get a podcast and he was like, I was help, helping them, telling them different stuff. And I was like, man, uh, we helping such and such. I ain't, I ain't crapping on nobody. Yeah. And I was like, he was like, is, it, is they on prime time? Yeah. That's our other channel that we working on. Okay. I said, no. Well, I don't, I don't need you to call me. Yeah. He, don't, he don't like. He like if you don't want to, if you want the help, you need to come into the whole. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Show the yeah, respect yeah, and the everything. love we together. Yeah, but that, just like I always say, it ain't on you; it's in you. You it's know what I'm saying? You. So if you don't love it, then you ain't gonna want to do it. You it's know what I'm saying? Like the stuff that I done did and broke and tore up on these cars and building these cars and figuring them out to make sure they're safe for the next man to do what I done did 15 years ago. They don't. They, you got to love it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you don't love it, you you got to you got to understand it. But I'm, the stuff I'm doing is make sure it's safe for them. Yeah. So like I'm passing the torch to them, but they don't yeah. want to say I'm passing it to them. But now they can go to the, they just make one phone call and buy these shocks that I have that I've been testing for yeah. ten years. Yeah. Yeah. They can make one phone call and buy this transmission I've been testing for ten years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They can make this phone call and buy these tires, this camshaft, this paint, anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. They don't want to show. It's like they just disrespecting me in that way. So when I say, "Bro, you can order this five years ago because it didn't exist," correct? I'm the creator of this. They don't want to do that, you they know what I'm saying? Because respect. they feel they have more money than me. They don't want to do just do. Yeah, they don't got more knowledge than I. They don't have the knowledge. Nah. And the knowledge without them, I mean, you know, our people are perished because of lack of knowledge. Oh, you know yeah, that, exactly. right? So yeah. if you don't have the knowledge, I don't care. You got to have the knowledge. You gotta, uh, let me go there. King Solomon had the knowledge, mm -hmm. but but at the end of the day, the resources he had, a, it was a scripture in there where he had to get some uh, uh, some stuff from King Hiram of Biff mm -hmm. in the book, in the good book. Uh -huh. So you got to be careful when you, but he said, but the word says that he was a, the wisest man ever to live, the richest, wisest, mm -hmm. King Solomon was the richest, wisest, but when you go in the book and you start to look and the see King Hiram mm -hmm. of Biff, uh -huh. you be like, how the hell, why is he letting him borrow something? Why is King Hiram being, helping him with the temple? Uh -huh. So it's like people, there, those things are there for people like what you're saying, mm -hmm. where people don't want to say this person is that, yeah. but God's still show you in a way yeah. you can't leave this one out. <laughs> yeah. you, can't, you can't. If you got faith, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to pray and stay out of the way. You know what I mean? I, a lot of people let money get in the way a lot yeah. of times. Yeah. And a lot of times there don't be no money. It's one phone call. Yeah. You can say, what's up with you? And yeah. I can make a lot of stuff happen. No problem. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Take a lot of stress out of you. Man, I got to tell uh -huh. you, thank you too, man, just for always answering the phone when I call. Oh, yeah, for sure. Man, my, my, my little Ken folk, man, he always, uh, he want, he always want to see or talk to you or something. Mm -hmm. You never turn me down, oh, man. Nah. And I want to say thank you, man. For sure. Thank you for supporting Boss Talk 101. No problem. Last time me and you talked a couple of times after the show came out, I hope we did you justice. I'd be nervous about that because I want to make sure yeah. it's right, man. I, we love and we don't want to lose nothing that God give us. You oh, know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure, and sure. I, I respect you. Mm -hmm. So when we doing our thing, he know how yeah. I am. My brothers gonna love you too. Oh yeah, yeah they be sure. watching too. Yeah, yeah, every, every, time you got walking house, yeah. every time I walk in the house, every time I walk in the house, is on TV. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I appreciate. And it. then they got the they they do the poster yeah, he too. Had, he had a shop, but they got uh, closed down. Yeah, yeah. that's why he used to watch you. Okay, that's what made him do it. Go right. Yeah. That's what made him do it. Watching you, oh, I'm gonna yeah. do this too. <laughs> man, you know what I mean. <laughs> he got one, man. He got a truck, a uh, 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 short bed truck. He putting together from from spring all the way up. Oh yeah, yeah. The pro the, the thing is, man. Once I talked to you last time you was on the show, mm -hmm. you know how many people came out the woodworks? Well, have show, nigga, yeah. them niggas want to know. Uh, you know him. I raised him. Joe, Joe, Joe. So I'm like, nigga, I don't yeah. care, nigga. I don't let this <laughs> nigga everybody talking about. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they want to figure out. <laughs> why, so why they call you before? Yeah, they, 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 they know. They didn't know. But oh, they, they really know. looking they, for they you. Know, I hate when people do that, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's been a few people that been on Boss Talk 101. If you hit me up, and the first thing I do, I look at who all follow you and your subscriber count or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if he ain't on your level and doing uh -huh. what you're doing, I'm not fit to be put him in that conversation. Like, yeah. he like, man, let me come on the show. I want to talk about, I want to talk about uh, uh, Dunk, man. I want to talk about Say. But your time. numbers ain't, ain't right there. Your, your credentials, yeah. your input, uh -huh. the people not looking for you like that. No. Why would I put you on my show? I'm just being real. That's what I, I think. Oh, yeah. I hear you now. Because I, I want to make sure that this thing is right because oh, yeah. we ain't out here trying to paint no, you know, nah. we don't want to paint no white no, Jesus. No. <laughs> <laughs> we got to supporting documentation. 
everything that I do or say, you can look it up. Yeah. You can Google it. Yeah. You can look it up. Check it out. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's real. Let's talk about this uh, uh, Rucci. Rucci, uh, get your coochie. You know about that? When I seen you say that, I said, yeah. what the hell this nigga do? He got some shoes? What no, this no, nigga? no. That's the, that's nah, the wheel part. They man. sent you some clothes, nigga. I seen them no, clothes. No, we got Rucci shoes. We got the Rucci wheels. That's what it is. Okay. It's, they the main effect of the wheel. Okay, so, so, so where the shoes come from? They make those too as Rucci. What you mean? They, you was they got out there. That. He said that nigga got the Rucci shoes. I said, now nah, he got the Rucci rim? Yeah. They got the Rucci shoes? <laughs> the Rucci wheels? So the Rucci shoes? Just tell me about how you even come up into that whole situation. Okay, so Rucci, so when I first got out of prison, I did, I did like seven months of prison. Of course. Like that, yeah. So when I got out, right, I put on the internet, I said, I'm looking for a new wheel sponsor. You know what I'm saying? I had one before. They wasn't doing what they supposed to do. They ain't handling the business right. So I told the world, I said, man, I'm looking for a new wheel sponsor for the Skittles pack. Well, who out there? You know what I'm saying? It was like five of them hit me. I listened to all what they had to say. You know what I'm saying? Talk to them, talk to the people, whatever the case may be. And we went with Rucci. You know wow. what I'm saying? So they make the wheels for us. They've been making us for now since 2019. Okay. Yeah, so Rucci wheels. So like every company that I partner with, uh, I come up with a slogan or a catchphrase to help sell the products and, and move people and, you know what I mean, do, do what we do. So Rucci, since everybody get put wheels on their car, you know what I mean, the girls love the flashy cars, so Rucci get your coochie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> as simple as that. And, and it took off and it started out selling every wheel line in the entire world. Wow, so in like, the entire world? Listen to what I'm telling you. From In 2019, they had 11 machines in their shop in 2019. In 2021, he had, a, he had a warehouse that was 16,000 square feet with 11 machines in California. Wow. In 2021, he had to move and get 60,000 square feet and 34 CNC machines. What now, the hell? So, Ruchi Wheels is, is international. It's in Japan. They sell them in Japan. They sell them. They sell a couple of people in Australia. All over the place. They're all over the entire and, world. And he and he respects you because he know that the promo helped him to push it to that. Did oh, y'all yeah. done it together? Yeah, yeah. We got we got it together. Make sure the checks look right. That's what you know I'm saying. saying. You know, like, shout out to Ruchi Wheels, man. <laughs> Ruchi, Ruchi, Ruchi get your coochie. Yeah, you know what I mean? Ruchi get your coochie. You know what I'm saying? He's making it right. <laughs> what, what, doing what, what was that when I seen the shoes? Like, the clothes start coming. What the hell? It was no, just that's the shoes. shoes. Yeah, so he got hats and shoes. But you know what I mean? They, they they set the standards, set the trends, and that's you know. Did I mean? they that's do that stuff. just for just, just after all this started to happen? The success? Yeah, yeah. So after everything started happening, we were selling a lot of hats and t-shirts and merchandise and stuff like that. He wanted to try it, so he tried the shoes, and, and they do sell pretty good different yeah. places. So so people like them. You know what I'm saying? I sell them here and there. Yeah, but they, you know what I mean? They like this. Something he just want to do. Nick, the owner, just did you ever think there'll come a time when you would say something like that? Um, and and things would just change, man. That no, I ain't tell no lie. Like, I was in, I ain't tell how this came about. We went to the factory to go to the factory, right? He told us, "Come, he flew us to California first class." You know what I'm saying? We, we eating, drinking good, smoking big Cubans and all that. Yeah. You know so we walked through the factory. I just walking around with my cup of liquor, looking around and stuff. I said, "Damn, there's a lot of roaches in here." I just kept looking around. I said. Rucci, get your coochie. And I went live. And when I said that thing on live, my top I had probably about three, four thousand people on live and started saying that. And shoot, the, the, like the next three, four days, their phone started ringing, dog. Damn. And the orders went from, from here to here to it was out of control at one point. And then even in Corona, when the COVID hit, it still was out of control. Like, Damn. it was out of control. Yeah. Man, you know, that's the dope part about the internet. Because we didn't have this, we didn't nah. have this whole thing to where we could had this much power. Yeah, yeah. To where you could just say something mm -hmm. and lives would change. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Immediately. One, immediately things oh, can yeah. change. So, and you, you know, you're getting used to having that kind of power. I got to yeah, watch yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might, well, what we doing next? Nah, you, you know what I'm saying? It just to me, I'm humble about it. And I'm gracious, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I thank the Lord every day for all this. Stuff. You have I'm to. We blessed, you know what I'm saying. We yeah. blessed to actually do this kind of stuff. So, so that's what it's about. I'm just me. saying though, man. You, you you could say something tomorrow on a cell phone. You could oh, say yeah. something tomorrow on some headphones. Oh yeah. Some shades. You already know that. Hey, nigga, get rich something. out here. Yeah, you know what I mean. We <laughs> got some stuff working on. You know what, you what, what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. We working on a couple different things, and that's something else to play on with the the root you get your coochie, right? Yeah. Since it was so successful on everything we doing, man. Shout out to BC Condoms. You know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, we Jason Panda, uh, CEO well, wait, Miami, you say Miami BC Miami. condom. So BC condom. break this down to me, okay? Because I'm, you know, you know, I, I was, I, you know, back in the days, you know, before I got, you got married, speak, speak slow. Uh, you know, slow. I got to talk slow. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. You know, I would go get me some, you know, magnums or uh, something like that. Yeah. You know, watch out, them things now. They, <laughs> ain't they, them thing tight, ain't it? Yeah, I don't use them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you rubbed off. Yeah, you, 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 you rubbed off. Man, I ain't using no condom, but you tripping. Oh damn. 
<laughs> you know, it was a thing. Then I, I hate to go to the condom. Uh, it was somebody online that said they can't have sex unless they have a condom. Who? Oh, man, it was some Even dude. I, I just read that on the airplane or somewhere when I was on the way. You know, yeah, you get bored. Right. You're like, what the hell is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> tell me about the BC condom. So, so BC condoms right now. It's in about uh, it's in about two thousand WalMarts. Okay. It's in a couple thousand CVS, Walgreens. It's in every health state department in the Dope. United States. So it's a black owned company based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. So he's you know what I mean he's making them and producing them and shipping them everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And that's and uh, we all got on about that through uh, Miami Mike. Shout out to CEO Miami Mike, Soldier Boy manager. So he put put us on in in a connection, and he liked it. You know what I'm saying? So the Ruchi Gucci Coochie. End up getting, getting a, a condom partnership. Damn. So now we're going to come out with a, a, a exclusive pack. We're not sure what store we actually go going first. Okay. But it's going to be thousands of them. You know wow. what I'm saying? So that's something for the black community to promote safety, safe sex, and you know what I'm saying? Still get your rocks off. <laughs> but you got to do it. You got to realize, man. You know what? It came right at the right time. Oh, yeah. That's because, right. you know, they just thought it was some act. What's that abortion thing that they, they just came out oh, with yeah. that they, they was against? What was it? They had banned abortions. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was yeah. a, a Roe Ro versus Wade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. y'all is do real good. This oh, yeah, might yeah. be a good business that's move. Right. You know, I think just kind of fall in your lap. Thank the Lord. That's <laughs> what you do. <laughs> Thank the Lord. You know, that's all so, it is. Six, 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 six. So, so, so you gonna yeah, that thing should take off pretty good. Oh, yes, it's a black on. That's what I'm saying. It's black on. Ruchi get your coochie. Ain't gonna lie. If I went in there, you know, you lie. It's usually when you would go and do stuff like that, you go into the old. Oh, oh, convenience store in that yeah. old box in the back. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you send me a pack, I'll make a commercial. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. did it. Okay. I'll make a commercial. You, you yeah. were talking yeah. about stripping. Yeah. So I, you got might well, I got this, bro. You got a whole got bunch this. going on. You want to be a over at Rio. Listen, my manager in the back. Listen, my manager in the back just hit up if you want to play. He's talking about taking boss talk to a whole nother level. Hey, long as he's out there dancing. They don't have no cameras in there. Don't worry. No boss talk paraphernalia. I'm taking yeah. BC condoms with me. Yeah, you take BC. I'm taking BC condoms with me. Ruchi, get your Gucci. Ruchi, get your Gucci. Are they going to put that on the damn condom, Ruchi? Right, well, yeah, this is just relax. We got it coming. We going to let y'all know. It's going to be uh, everywhere in your face. When you go in the store with somebody who smoked black and mild, get a pack of Don't Masters out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me get a pack of black and mild out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man. Yeah, that's all you got to do. Well, I'm going to make commercial for real. Oh, yeah. You going to make one? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm going to the house. I'm going to have sex. I'm going to grab the clean out, out the shit. That's, that's a single man yeah. talking yeah. right yeah. there. Yeah. That's a single man. That's all you got to do. So you, 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 you ain't got to be single and say that. It's still a commercial. That's, that's yeah, 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 yeah. You he, just want to make it. Because you're an actor at this point. Yeah, I told you I want to be an actor. I'm telling you this. I'm going to write that right. He's going to write that right. Well, you got a lot of people that been on the show. I'm telling you, if you, you see me, we're going to make this, we're going to make the video in, in 24 hours. Oh, no. Let's do it. So, man, um, so when you think about just in South Carolina, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You you up there, you traveling like you traveling, man. You got these big trailers. People are watching the movement, man. Like, uh, when these, how much is one of them big trailers? When you pull up in front of my damn store, I said, yeah. nigga, nigga got some money. Head too. Oh, yeah. nah, I said, nigga got some money. Yeah, yeah, but I ain't gonna lie, I start looking. I had to make payments on that. You and T-Rail, T-Rail brought a big old uh, tour, a bus. tour bus and you had all them damn, the, look, I think that was a gooseneck, man. You had yeah, that old in there. You pull up in that old like that. I said, buddy, Nigga got some money. All oh, the trailers cost a good bit now. It depends on what you get, but something like what I got, that's a custom made trailer for that application. So you know, do anybody be blowing that and everything? We be everywhere riding. There we go everywhere. I'm talking. About if we ride on interstate, stopping, taking pictures, videos, posting on Facebook, Instagram. So matter of fact, anybody see the trail on the road? You know what I'm saying? Tag us on, and on Instagram. Tag and be pushing. Yeah, we stop at a truck stop all the time. Take pictures, man. I tell you no lie. I'm gonna tell you this crazy story, dog. We had we pulling from a truck stop. Me and G Dog in the truck, right? Going to Alabama, somewhere we was going. Uh, one of them lot lizards tried to jump in the truck. Damn it, boy. What? I'm talking about she was snatch the door over. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> hey, I ain't know what was going on, man. I'm, man. I'm, I'm looking at that lady. She, she's scoping the truck. She walking close. I'm talking she walking close. Then she went fast and just grabbed the boom. Over she the gonna door. get in that thing. What? I caught back like this and look at that thing now. I said, boy, what you doing? You better get out of here. She got to go. So we pull off. You know, G-Dog kept it rocking. We kept on rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but that trailer, it bring good attention, bad attention, but they see it. That's yeah. for sure. That's a billboard. Oh yeah, it's a, that's a, a billboard. walking billboard. It's oh, a yeah. walking billboard. So what's the what's the next car that you the, the dream car, the next car uh -huh. that you you gonna rock out and what well, what's different now about the cars? Because last time I know you was already working on things, yeah. but what's different now? Something that you found out since you was on the show last. Something um, that you can do because last time you talking about the seat belts, I believe it was something about the seat belts. Right, right. 
Yeah, I bought the black blur. I did stuff with the black blur with the with the, my, uh, the Monte Carlo. We yeah. changed out the fronts and fiberglass and stuff like that. It was certain things you was trying to do for safety measures mm -hmm. to bring into the dump, you know, the whole oh, dump the, racing the, the fire systems. Matter of fact, my safety suit. So I know a lot of people seen me wearing my new fire suit that's all brand new. Yeah, I've seen that. With all my partners on it. So now I'm trying to educate our, our culture and community on actually having a safety suit and what is it for? Yeah. A fire suit. You know okay. A lot of people in these cars catch fire. Uh, um, fire might happen They might not have The safety equipment mm -hmm. So they need to have In a budget To where to get a proper helmet Proper racing gloves And a proper uh, Safety suit Fire suit So mm -hmm. one of my partners Fire aid Matter of fact Out of North Carolina uh, G Tech JJ He got He partnered And we actually built A, a custom safety suit so I want to make sure and educate the people as I'm going. They see it, they're like, oh, that look cool, man. You look like you NASCAR or something. They yeah. want to take a picture with me in a safety suit, but I want to educate them, let them know that you need this yeah. when you run at a certain speed. So have you have you got, you've already got it, you got some designs of it already out? Yeah, it's already out. I'm, I'm winning. I actually got two of no, them. No, I'm so saying they, for other people to be able to get it. Yeah, they can, they can get it right from K1. So we actually okay. partnered up with K1 to actually make it easy. See, you sharp as hell. You oh, always yeah, go get the right easy. people that do that, yeah. and you pick the right ones, that, yeah. and, it's, and it's in their lane. Right. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's a lot of research and, and trust that goes in with these people. Yeah, because with our people, they're behind time. Yeah, so I want to educate them and make it a lot easier for them. So if they see it on me, they can be like, "Oh, what is that?" But all they have to do go to K one, say, "I want my dunk master guy." Yeah, it's a certain kind of safety suit. They go already. They make it, measure them, make it for them. They want a custom one. If they want one off the shelf, they can get off the shelf. But I want to make every transition pretty easy for them to to do so. And yeah, that's what we like to do. And yeah. like, what's uh like when you uh. Did the race last year? It was like you was winning everything. Yeah, I'm like, how, how was you winning? I, my car fast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You be winning, but I take a lot of time and, and my engine's transmission, and I do what I need to do with it. I'm like, and uh, how many people actually want to bet you when you go out there? See, now it's getting a little bit harder to, to get yeah, because the money bet. getting higher. We know yeah, that. Yeah, the money getting higher, but then they know their chances of winning is a lot slimmer. So it's it's different com competitors. So some competitors that I have want to bet some, and some of them don't want to bet nothing at all. So the day you won that thirty thousand, something close to that. Uh, how many how many people? Oh, uh, we on the money <laughs> again, <laughs> boy. Uh, we on the money again. The last time the money, 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 money gets in trouble. What, what, what race was that? Though? I got to think about what race it was. It was like I seen in the video, the last video that I seen on uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like you won third thousand. I won. How many people did you race to win all of that? Oh no, it'd be just one race a lot of time. You know what I'm saying? We better together, so the whole team would bet the money. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, I thought you were racing like different people. You won just third out like nah. Together, like some everybody. some of them like that, and some of them do. Sometimes be one racing, and sometimes it be a lot of different cars race. But a lot of times we just have one race. So what was the fastest car you ever had? Um, the fastest car I ever had was actual. Uh, well, the fastest dunk I had was the Z06 dunk. But a fastest race car. I had a, a couple of Mustangs back in the day. They used to run like four seconds in the eighth mile. That's crazy. Uh, that's, that's one of the fastest cars I had. Because I love Mustangs. Like, oh, yeah, like a notch body, front, the trunk body Mustang. Yeah. Yeah, with a Chevy motor, about two yeah. stage nitrous on it. Yeah. I'm going some, some high I'm, like, I'm going to get one. I'm going to get another one because oh, I got to yeah. have one. You got to find it. Tell me about uh, my, uh, Easy Money, man. He had wrecked his car. How's he doing? Oh, yeah. Shout out to Easy Money. He's doing good now. You know what I'm saying? He back. I'm at, uh, I, I was actually at the race when it happened. Yeah. So I was there looking at them boys go down the track and and he wrecked. And you know what I'm saying? So, like, the safety measure that he had in his car was a road case saved his life. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that's something big with the NDRA is, like, if he didn't have that, he wouldn't be here today. You know what I'm saying? So I made a post and stuff about it. You know what I mean? Everybody pray for him, and he, he pulled through. You wow. know what I'm saying? And that is real because people think they're too clean or too cool to get in the wreck. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when you try to educate the people about safety, about the vehicles, they look at you crazy because they don't want to spend $2,000, $3,000 on something safe. Instead, they'll spend $50,000 on an engine. And that's what yeah. you would need in boys. You yeah. need that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And that's safety what I'm trying first. to tell Yeah, you have to have safety so first. So, when you was there that day and you seen this wreck happen, because you can't never tell when something like that's nope, going to happen. you can never tell. And you've seen people actually come. Have you seen people die going down there? All the time. I've seen people brain smatter, arms cut That's what cut I think. So, I've seen plenty. So, when you seen him, what, it's like it's probably like a definitely a scare of adrenaline yeah. rush to like try to help these people get mm -hmm. out of the car. What was that day like? Did you have to take off running? Or did they have somebody down? down there already yeah. the ambulance was already yeah. out there how, how was how so, was that? so when he actually started flipping and then he wrecked everybody started running out of the racetrack so once we got there it was probably 40 50 people around because people on the side actually jumped over to the track and they was there 
but you don't want to run up on a race car that flip like that because it can catch fire. Correct. So that's another thing it can actually explode. It so like they try, yeah, so they try to make sure everybody stay back and then they actually got them and they had to cut the car to get them out of the out of the car. But now nah, it was it's real, you know what I'm saying? And and that's why I keep preaching preaching safety. Did he, he didn't have one of your suits on though? Yeah, yeah, he, he has a suit. Yeah, he, had yeah. Suit yeah. he had a suit, he had a helmet and he had a he had a roll cage. Like he was he he pretty good with the safety and the people okay. who built his car, so his stuff was put together pretty good and, and he survived. He came up with a broke arm, looked like a broke wrist, something like that. But other than that, now he he got out of the car, they put him on a stretcher, they took him to the hospital, he, he got out of the hospital in a couple of days. Do you think that it, it is it something to where you feel like they need to put a checklist together before these guys go down that track? Yeah, and that's what that's you what, see what I'm about. saying? Yeah, we have we have the safe like if you racing in NDRA, your car has to have a lot of different safety things on it. So like if they just doing big wheel racing now the tracks have tech at the racetrack to check these cars. So you got to have like an engine diaper in case your motor leaking, have a transmission blade in case your transmission blow up. You need a certain size wheel stud, which which would be a five eighth wheel stud. If your car going a certain speed, you would need a roll cage. Then you would need a fire system in your car also. And then if you running a certain fuel, you would need shut off switches, battery off. Stuff like that. So that's mandatory to have, and yeah. people should want to have it because it's protecting you. It ain't protecting nobody else but the person driving a race car. No, you're you know exactly right. Yeah, so you should want it. Like on all our vehicles, we have that. And, yeah. and with the NDRA, it's a actual you got to have it's mandatory. So the NDRA it, it keeps it's, it keeps a set standard on yes. how, yep. how people need to be. Is there a, like a way to sign up? Like if I want to rock with Sage Thomas and mm -hmm. Dunk Mouse in the way that he's doing things, mm -hmm. I, like a car club, but really more intense. Like mm -hmm. for me to understand how to develop into this world, yep. is there a way to connect like that? Yeah, you, you go. To you see NDRA, what I'm saying? Yeah, you can go to NDRAUSA.com. Is it a sign-in bonus or something to fee to do it or what? Yeah, it you sign be? on. Yeah, it's a fee you sign up, and then that way you get all information and then you actually connect to all the partners and sponsors that the NDRA has so you also get discounts you that's what I'm going to ask yeah you get perks you get uh, exposure through all the videographer and all the different commercials really? yeah and it's, oh, you, you're in a once you sign up to the NDRA you're on another pedestal so you're yeah. actually going to get part and taught how to market in a lot of different ways so it's just not just signing up to no club you're actually going to learn something you're going to benefit from it how, how do you know or count how many people have already joined uh, right now, we're over about 100 actual that's racers. Dope. Yeah, we're over about 100 actual and that's racers that signed up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's growing. This is our second year doing it. Yeah. So by the third year, it's, it should be it's a little gonna more. Crazy. It's going to get more and more. Yeah. It's going to get faster and faster. Yeah, but, and the reason it's doing that because of the racetracks, right? So yeah. the racetracks see a, a wreck like easy money. You know what I'm saying? That's opened a lot of eyes to the racetracks. Like, wow, these cars are really that fast. Mm -hmm. So are they really that safe? So certain racetracks mm -hmm. won't let big wheel cars run because some of the cars not up to spec. Up to spec. And that's what I'm trying to tell my fellow racers, like, bro, you either have to get your cars up to spec, are you only limited to running these racetracks, or you sign up for the NDRA where we make sure everything is up to spec. I think that's dope, man. That's live because you saving lives too. Oh, yeah. They do it that way because yep. you you taking parameters that just so you know, them old boys I used to watch. They yeah. were, He's saving lives in two ways. Yeah. Yeah, for real. That mm -hmm. that's crazy because um like I said, you taking it to another level uh, than from the guys that even you were taught by when mm -hmm. you were young because they were older. Oh, you, yeah. you know, your uncle you talked about last time. Mm -hmm. uh, they they would be proud oh, to, yeah, to see sure. you doing the things that oh, you're yeah. doing. My Uncle Buddy. He, yeah, he Uncle Buddy. It. That's yeah, right. Yeah, my Uncle Buddy. He seen the podcast. He, he, he liked it. He called me. He said Did he what he oh, say? Yeah, he liked it. You know what I'm saying? He was surprised, but he didn't know the impact. He gave him a shout out, He didn't know the impact. He gave him a shout out. I remember that. That's why I thought about Uncle Buddy. I'm like, this Uncle Buddy, he was a Uncle Buddy. Yeah, my Uncle Buddy. But he seen my video. Yeah, he checked it out on YouTube. He, You know, he's 72 years old right now. So his wife. What are you doing on YouTube? Man, his wife had to turn the TV on for him. You know what I'm saying? You know, my uncle old, but he looked young. Now, he's in shape now. So you got a young wife. You know what I'm saying? He heard his name on there. Yeah, he liked it. You know what I'm saying? That's dope, man. He liked it. He had a good time. He watched it. He watched it a couple times. See, I told you, man. Hey, Carlos. Miller, I'm coming for you. I told you that the other day, nigga. I'm getting good at this. You niggas. <laughs> you love how I do it. You love how I do it. You nigga let the real nigga get it out. It's crazy. He said he's going to do it a long time huh? ago. He's going to me? Yeah. Yeah, uh, just getting on the podcast yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah. I, I be just having a good time. So yeah, I knew see, it was going to be wild. Oh, yeah, but it ain't, it ain't cost you no money. It's just a connection resource. Correct. That's, that's it. it. That's it, man. <laughs> that's it. That's what I'm telling you. I'm that's learning, it. man. I'm, that's, that's the one thing. You got to be humble enough to learn, bro. Oh, yeah. That's you know what I'm saying? Like, 
like I said again, thank you, man, for showing us the love and embracing the show, oh, man. Yeah. Like I said, I see the impact now. Oh, I didn't understand at first, but I do now because oh, now yeah. I'm watching. I'm like, man, this dude, he'll really be working. Like, And it's like so many people that really support what you're doing because oh, yeah. a lot of dudes that talk to talk but can't mm. walk to walk. Nah, you gotta don't have work. a sponsorship, not mm -hmm. able to communicate with people. Yeah. All this stuff matters. Oh, yeah. How you communicate and do business matters mm -hmm. so much, man. Oh, yeah, you sure. know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I'm going to be watching and I'm going to be trying to figure out how to, you know, get my old school in there where I can meddle and talk crazy to niggas, <laughs> you know, and get me a driver. Yeah, I got yeah. to have a driver. You want to drive that thing, man? Oh, I know she want to drive that thing. She want to drive that old car. <laughs> <laughs> so man you know I, I definitely I want to uh, my wife want to talk to your girl for sure okay. but we get out of here cause okay. we gonna, so we gonna shut it down man but we coming right back cause oh, yeah. we gotta we gotta get over here this time oh, yeah, my wife sure. like we gotta talk about that bike see yeah. Yeah, that I'm hoping like hell bike. we don't you know really make no real connection <laughs> because she want a damn bike mm. but yeah. I'm trying to fix that old car up yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, talking yeah. <laughs> I say I hear you now. I hear you. I hear you. And I love the way y'all chemistry is and the way y'all ride and the way y'all support each other. Oh, yeah, man. for sure. Man, that's dope to have that, man. You know, how I'm, how the kids doing? I'm going to say that oh, yeah, before man. we get off Oh, here. they're doing pretty good. You know, school start just school. started back. Yeah, they start school next week. Mine started yesterday. Oh, yeah, they start next week. Uh, no, today. Them niggas yeah. drive. They how many got their own day. cars? Huh? I mean, they young, they right? Nah, they ain't got the yeah, the old my oldest one is fourteen. And he about yeah. ready, that yeah, nigga is yeah, about yeah. ready. Hey, is he riding around the block yet? He be driving. You know that. My boy be driving. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga scares the hell yeah, out of nervous, me, boy. boy. I'm over there like pull this, man, move this, man. Yeah. Why you gonna why are you turning wide? Yeah, they do that crazy. Bro. They rookies. They, 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 you know what I mean? They're not experienced. Do you right? have a, like a old, like a, a path where he can ride around? I tried it at my shop a couple times, and then I take him out to the country. You know what I'm saying? Let him just ride in the country, but. He working, you know. You nervous? He, yeah, I'm nervous now, but he doing it though. <laughs> he's doing it. He think he gonna be a drive. racer too, bro. How do you know that? You know <laughs> my my youngest one, my middle one's. That's Zaya, the one we he, talked yeah, about he last time. Be a racer. Yeah, he really gonna be a racer. Man, so man, thank you. Hey, we love you oh, yeah, for man. show say sure, AKA the you. Dump Master hey. Zero. And man, I'm hey, man, a commercial. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. making <laughs> that commercial. Think I'm playing? No, nah, man, we appreciate you, man. We out here in Las Vegas, Nevada, man. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel, man. And uh, man, we hey, you see how we doing it, man? We got the Dump Master, man. And it's real. Like when you got the dump master, you know you good. It's all the way the first real. time, the second time. The, the second, second time. time. You know what I mean? Make sure they go to Dump Master TV on my YouTube hey, channel. Hey, plug it in. Check some my, my Instagram, one underscore dump master, and check me out. So going? That boy ready, man. He oh, know I do the podcast too. That nigga <laughs> either. That nigga slid that in there. <laughs> check it, man. Hey man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. Oh, what what a boss is talk. talk.